someone here is a master magician. This is a message for Aries placements. All knowing source, divine spirit, archangels, guides, ancestors, infinite masters, five gate above, my higher self, my galactic team with the highest light and resonance, star races, star family. Allow me to be the fresh channel to bring forth truthful, clear, precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy of Aries placements and bring forth the most important and the most healing messages for those who need them the most. Thank you all for being here. Guys, this is a timeless reading. It's also very general, so take what rest needs only. Let the rest go. This is not a gender-specific reading. And again, this is for Aries placements. Okay, guys? Someone here is truly a magician. Uh, stepping into that power. Um, a skillful at something. Um, but the energy I was getting for you guys in your meditative session is that, you know, I do feel like there has been some type of estrangement. Um, there's been um, a separation of sorts. Someone feeling left out in the cold, someone feeling, you know, maybe even trapped in their home, trapped in some space. Um, just, uh, there's some lack, lack of something, lack of mentality, lack of morals, lack of, of sustenance. Um, but I'm also getting this feeling of the energy picking up, okay? The energy is picking up and um, there is something that is um, being presented to where you're gonna be able or someone's gonna be able to to take a spark and do something with it, to go forward with it, um, to like make a decision or The energy here is that there's almost like a, you know, even if it's not necessarily, someone is ready to go from a, a place of thinking about it or dreaming about it to actually deciding to do it making that move I think I want to make that move now right I feel the way I see the way and I'm ready to follow the yellow brick road okay that's the energy that I'm getting for you guys um I did get a powerful energy of Scorpio coming through on the bottom of the mysteries in the stars deck and the Scorpio energy here um and that was the mystery star card of um bernie murphy so that could represent something for you um but we're gonna leave it there um yeah i just feel like it's your energy aries there's you're ready to make a move you're ready to get out of this uh stagnant funk or this space um of confinement Okay. All right. Now I'm also getting something random coming through about someone who could be um, on bed rest, you know, later, the latter stages of the pregnancy. Um, that's where we're going to leave it. We're going to get an oracle for you, oracle guidance for my Aries placements. All the decks have been pre shuffled, but we're going to just do a couple more. Oops, I don't know why this is still up. That's not your card. Aries placements. Can I get some oracle guidance for Aries? Thank you. Show me clearly what's the guidance for Aries placements. We have dance and celebrate, right? Um, kind of picking up on the energy that I got for you guys. I, I do feel like there's, again, someone's ready to get up and do something. Um, you know, dance is very sacred. It, uh, you know, 
I guess, I, mean, I wouldn't say, you know, I don't like to categorize things in terms of the best thing or, but dancing, just like crying is a way that really connects you to your ancestors, to your spirit team, to other realms, right? Higher consciousness, your higher self, right? So this is a, a surefire way to get energy moving, to, again, to connect, you know? I just feel like there could be something to celebrate, like someone is really ready to um, to move, to, uh, to get out, to uh, separate themselves from a space of lack or a space of confinement. And um, this could be, you know, some type of uh, ritual, right? Someone doing some type of celebratory magic or... Because, um, I mean, the first thing I said was someone here is very magical. So, magic. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> dance. Now, dance magic? Okay. Like, interesting. So, we have dance. Celebrate. Let's go ahead and get the, um, I mean, right below that we have this volcano, you know, kind of reminds me of a tower, divine intervention, okay, um, Mars, you know, that is a tower, that's you, that's your energy, that's, you know, what has gotten you upset, Aries, or this may not even have anything to do with being upset, this could just be power, right, but again, a volatility it, it, it doesn't have to be negative or positive. It's just, it's just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It is just, A force okay um so something is forcefully manifesting but again dance celebration let's see if we can get a message for you dance Aries. This woman is dancing an ancient story, one that has been handed down for centuries. She's acting out the story through her movements, choreographed by the collaboration of tradition, ritual, and her own spirit. The dance itself sometimes becomes a story, although unheard and unseen in this image. There are others who are singing and clapping to accompany this dancer. It's a communal celebration focused around the story that's been handed down for many, many generations. For thousands of years, our ancestors, no matter how, no matter our lineage, celebrated with ritualized storytelling that included singing and dancing. As in this image, the dancer's movements bring the tale to kinesthetic life. The participation of the community in this heartfelt enactment helps secure the bond of the people and connects them to their spirit and ancestral roots. When we celebrate anything in this way, it always touches a deep sense of love, gratitude, and appreciation. The sacredness of any celebration is dependent upon the quality of spirit that is present. The quality of spirit is greater to the degree that you are fully present with minimal inhibitions about expressing your joy and happiness through physical movement. Focus on what you want to celebrate. Put on some music and dance, whether slow or fast. Sing a song while you do it. Make one up about what you must. Um, sorry, make one up about what you most have to celebrate. The universe's wishes is for everyone to enjoy their time on earth. And part of that wish is to celebrate your capacity to be joyous and express it through your body. Whether in private, with a small group of friends or a large communal gathering, let music, song and dance be a part of your sacred ceremony, regardless of what 
you are celebrating for truly any celebration is sacred. All right, so whether small or huge, whatever it is, there's something to celebrate here. Now, again, because this could just be just being able to move, just being able to get up and get out, just being able to come out of some type of stagnancy. Um, this is this is what is needed, you know, movement. Okay, now again, that volatile force. There's some type of divine intervention. There is some type of um, energy that's going to be um, taking place for you because it's time. It's time for something to shift here. All right, so that's your divine guidance. Aries, let's... Um, Go ahead and pull some cards for you. Hmm. Go ahead and pull some mysteries in the stars. Interesting. All right, I want to go ahead and pull some tarot, but I'm just going to see what what uh, they want to say here. Show me. There's something for Bova. What's for Aries? Okay, let's, let me take this one here. It says the final take. Aries, someone here could have um, a Virgo rising or Mercury and Virgo or Virgo moon. You know, my final take card is like that critical moment, right? Nothing is taking place in a huge operation without all of the critical analysis being done, right? Something critical is taking place for you. Um, now, again, I'm getting something here that connects with the mind. There could be someone who's coming, getting out of some type of mental um, imprisonment. And this could be an actual prison, but again, this critical thinking energy, there's something uh, about the details a critical, crucial analysis, right? Precision, perfecting something. Someone could be getting some type of um, evaluation that's allowing them to be free of something. Um, yeah, so everything is coming together here. Someone who may have Virgo rising, you know, this is... Um, an interesting placement for Aries because again, it, it, it that magic that's a lot of magic because Aries is the, the, the number one, the first astrological sign, and the magician is number one. But then the magician rules, um, because it's Mercury, it rules you know, Virgo and Gemini. So, this is very interesting. Um, this is like indicatory type of energy, right? It's like, this is Aries and Virgo together, right? Because you want to take off, but then there's something that has to be evaluated first. There has to be a critical analysis of the situation. And that's, that's what this is about. I feel like this analysis or this, whatever is taking place is going to, or, or this is, could be a breakthrough in some way that's allowing someone to with your energy back, right? To be able to move, right? This could be health. So, that's interesting. Oh, that smoke is very strong. Oh. Okay, Aries, what's the, what's the faded overall energy? Oh, they said look on the bottom. So this is what it is. Yeah, there's... 
there's some type of restriction here, right? That you're coming out of. You're, you're coming out of this restriction. This, you know, whatever this is. Whatever this is, it's, it's, in the, it's inverted. So you're coming out. It's no longer, no one, someone's no longer being restricted, right? Someone's finally seeing that there is a possibility of freedom here. Someone's coming out of a blockage. I mean, it clearly says inaccessible imprisonment. So this is what, this is what, you know, is, is taking place for you here, Aries. Okay, show me the faded overall energy for Aries placements. Show me the faded overall energy, please. I see the moon wanting to poke out. <laughs> yeah. Something that's been, something is hidden here. It's got something to do with the Pisces, a secret. Um, an illusion. What's the phase of energy for Aries? Oh. And it's the hanged man. It's the hanged man. And it's in reverse. Twelve reduces to three. This is the twelfth house, right? This got something to do with a hidden enemy. Finding that balance. Someone is finding the balance, and it could be a small win here, right? It doesn't have to be huge. In the details, right? It's the small steps. I'm hearing twelve steps. Is that something? Twelve steps? Is that something to do with like AA or NA? Is it twelve steps or something else? But that's what I'm getting. Um, there is some type of uh, win, right? Now, when the hangman is in the upright position, it's this energy of being suspended, right? But in that in that suspension, there's enlightenment somehow. Okay. In reverse. It's almost a unwillingness or the inability to remove the veil, the, the inability to, um, to to see things clearly, or maybe a complacency, uh, kind of wanting to escape in that veil, in that space, you know, and this could be, you know, the energy of someone, you know, someone that you're connected with or what you've moved through. But this is um, clearly, again, when that moon came out, I was getting that Pisces energy. <clears throat> um, so this is definitely Pisces coming through for you. <clears throat> so yeah there's definitely a very big energy here of a breakthrough um I feel like a missed opportunity or you know, and again, with this hangman energy in reverse, like I just feel like someone could have been in a space, like I said in the beginning of the of your of your meditative session, and 
about someone feeling like in this lack or in this confinement. And this guy has something to do with mental health. This guy has something to do with just any any space. You know, you don't have to be in a mental institution. You don't have to be in a prison. You can be. This could be a making of your own in your own mind. This could be within a relationship. But again, I do see a celebration. I do see baby steps, and they're saying it again. Twelve is the hangman. Twelve steps, like somebody is making strides, or they have a very powerful mind, even under the weight of whatever this fog has been, okay? I feel like someone is kind of finding their way out of a, out of a delusion or out of a confusing space. You know, someone's been in a space too long. Uh, there's some type of analysis that's taking place and they're getting out of this. Okay, I'm getting all of this without even pulling any, uh, any cards yet. Yeah, someone's very strong. Someone's very strong here. We have the energy of fire. I'm getting a ring of fire. I'm getting fire dance. I'm getting fire magic. I'm getting, you know, obviously this is a Leo energy here, but someone's very strong. And, you know, I feel like that's you, Aries. All right. Someone can finally see the forest in spite of the trees. Right. And where, you know, it's just, again, someone, the look on, on her face is still like, someone's not their guard is not down although they have kind of found their way out of something all right someone is, has a very strong will i'll leave it there okay aries placements give me some cards for aries <clears throat> just to confirm the oracles all right so we have three cards all together we have uh the six of cups with the knight of pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Six of Cups. All right. So this is uh, some type of reconciliation or healing, right? In the upright position, the Six of Cups, you know, it's, it's Scorpio energy. And that was the first energy that came through for you guys in the beginning, okay? Um, and it was a Brittany Murphy card. So there could have something to do here with a mother, <clears throat> you know, um, a mother-daughter situation, family. But, um, you know, the Six of Cups can also speak about relationships um, and uh, family dynamic. You know, and uh, I feel like this is like something really, really deep um, that someone here is is having to face, right? Again, now. We did mention earlier about a possible pregnancy, but I am feeling here that this could be, you know, childhood trauma um, that someone is healing. Um, anything that connects with Pluto goes, goes, it runs very deep. So, I feel like there could be some type of reunion and it, it could be your own inner child okay <laughs> but um or, or something is giving is returning someone you're, you're regaining some piece of a soul fragment or something like that um now again Scorpio the cups it could have something this could have something to do with you know um celebrating somebody's steps of recovery you know it may have taken a long long time I feel like something has been very stagnant very slow moving right you know 
getting out of a out of a space of just I don't know like depression right homelessness you know there's a, a there's something huge here um, about that and uh, I feel like there's going to be a reason to celebrate some type of healing, okay? <laughs> and then we have the Queen of Wands, right? Now, this Queen of Wands could represent A Leo, okay, or a fire sign. It could be you, it could be anyone, but we did have that strength card, okay, here. You know, this could be someone who has an, is enabling you or you are enabling someone else to um, to get through something. <clears throat> being someone's strength, being somebody's um, inspiration. Now, again, this could really represent a relationship, you know? I feel like somebody here is very magical, very um, powerful. Somebody has the ability to inspire or to energetically reach somebody. Um, and it's like there's someone's energy is pulling on someone, helping them to overcome or to heal or to connect. Um, So it's like, uh, because the Six of Cups, this is like a spiritual connection, possibly, or soulmate, mother and child, um, or, or, or mentor, or somebody that, you know, has... connections right the queen of wands is very powerful um very intuitive so yeah i feel like um mm. this is just speaking about and confirming that there is a win there is some type of um spark um, that is initiating someone into a much better space headspace um, and and that's cause for celebration
in the bottom of the deck. We have a death card. It's more Scorpio. So yeah, this is about a surrender, an ending. So it's the end of a, end of a, of a phase or end of a program. And it's a very transformative time for someone. Okay. So what is this um, what is the six of cups? What's the six of cups for Aries? What's the six of cups? Six of Cups in reverse. I mean, the Six of Cups is being clarified with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is like unhappiness. Feeling unloved. Unfilled. Sad. Disconnected. And this could have a lot to do with a relationship. of cups in reverse. Now again, there's something here about like being nurtured. You know, under the ten of the six of cups, this could have something to do with, you know, innocence being lost or, you know, a connection with a mother or or some type of interference by a mother. in relation to a reunion. Yeah, I just, I'm just the hermit in reverse under the Ten of Cups in reverse. I just, I do feel like this is some type of depression or a space where someone had to do a lot of healing because the Ten of Cups in reverse, the hermit in reverse, like the inability to look at something, the inability to face the past. Um, someone's been in a space for a long time, you know, depression, um, avoidance, isolation, but I feel like a fog is lifting, okay? Because this is all clarifying the Six of Cups in the upright position. There's something being triggered or jarred about the past about oneself, maybe in this space, someone was able to deal with some, you know, really deep traumas. 
um, that may have some connection with abuse or being naive or lost. Something that they couldn't really face, okay? About something that they did, something that they experienced, all right? And that's why there's just this uh, stagnancy, right? Feeling as if there's idol. Like no one's coming for you or you're, you're never going to get to where you're supposed to be going. But again, I'm still hearing 12 steps. So there, again, there's something here that has been moved through because see, someone is, is breaking out of this, these ties that bind. There's a critical analysis that's going to take place that has taken place that's allowing for a celebration, even if it's just a small one, right? Someone here is strong. Someone has a strong will. Someone has help from this Queen of Wands or someone is this Queen of Wands, okay? Someone here is powerful. Someone here is reconnecting with their magic or they are connected with, again, this mentor or this uh, very spiritual person or that's you. Ooh, one final card. What is this um, Queen of Wands? Who's the Queen of Wands? What else for Aries? Basically? The Queen of Wands is... Okay. The Magician in Reverse and the Sun in Reverse. The Queen of Wands is... Someone who is coming out of this. Someone's coming out of a deep depression or out of uh, maybe an ego death or, or or feeling like they weren't connected to themselves. This is you. This can definitely be you. Okay. Uh, this is fire. Feminine energy. Okay. Someone has not felt connected to themselves. It's like... I know I'm powerful, I know I'm magical, I know I'm strong, but I can't find that, that myself back to that place, right? This is a lack of skill, this is fear and doubt and inadequacy and uh, again, with the sun, that's Leo, that's again, the fifth house of, of children, of the inner child, right? Um... You know, I just I feel like there's a heavy, heavy energy or there has been a heavy, heavy energy over someone. Someone's been moving slowly through the steps to find their way back to this Queen of Wands. OK, whether that's part of yourself or someone else or your parent or your mom or something like that. But I do feel like there is someone that's connecting back to their soul, their soul fragments or um, a, a significant relationship or back to their talents one step at a time okay um, someone has been lost or under some heavy influences um, that were adverse to any forward progression but now there's going to be a cause for some type of celebration here okay bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune there is a shift okay um that's taking place and the wheel is turning in your favor okay this could definitely a lot of fire all the fire signs are here aries leo sagittarius we have pisces and virgo um energy uh really come through strong also scorpio again there's Jupiter here, okay? Influence. Um, and it's on someone's side here, okay? This is the end of a cycle, okay? 10 is the wheel, again, and 10 reduces to one. So it's something that's bringing you back to you, right? I am. Two, you can focus, you'll be able to, you'll be able to focus on yourself or someone will be able to focus on themselves, right? This is the wheel. Something is balancing out, 
this could also be some type of movement, right? Someone's finally able to move, to dance, or to dance to the beat of their own drum again. Maybe they have not been able to hear their own beats to their drum. It's been hard to access their magic, or hard to access their mental, but, you know, this is about, you know, good fortune and, um, you know, karma playing out in your favor. So things are moving forward one step at a time, a reason to celebrate, a reason to dance. And I actually really do hope that you dance, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. Let's get um, some oracles to, um, to end the message for you. for Aries. Okay. We have life path number five. Life path number five. Okay, life path number fives are... They're here to continually evolve, right? This is all about shifts and changes okay um life path number, number five again five we were just talking about the five energy the fifth house leo um life path number five is here to shine uh five is also protection right? The five-pointed star. Um, so I feel like somebody, again, as an Aries, you are very, it comes natural to you, like, to protect yourself, right? To have this will and the strength. Um, so again, I just feel like there's a lot of protection around someone here. Life path number five. And then we have, you gave me something to believe in. Yeah, there's someone here um, with someone's strength or someone, you know, believed in someone or someone is a very powerful um, leader or healer or priest, priestess or something like that. So you gave me something to believe in here, okay? I'm hearing like... Real homies help you get through. And I know you could do the same thing if if you could. Yeah, there's there's some pop song lyrics coming through. Um I think it's still an attempt at the time, but either way, um you gave me something to believe in. Yeah. <clears throat> the bottom of the deck <laughs> we have april so that's your energy right this could be another areas of significance coming through april could be an important significant day for someone um something could have happened in april you know that's where this confinement or whatever this could be april um being a very significant you know um time and uh we'll leave it there and, and with, for you guys, for this message, is, it was a little longer than I planned, but I do feel like someone has come is coming out of some something heavy. So I just want to pull a final oracle for Aries Pisces. Hope you dance song. When one door closes, another one opens. And if you ever have the chance to fight it out, 
or dance. I hope you dance. Aries energy, they're fighters, right? For the most courageous, the most brave. Yeah, it's um, Leanne Womack. I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. Never settle for the path of least resistance. Living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. Loving might be a mistake, but it's worth making. Such an Aries verse. Don't let some hell-bent heart leave you bitter. When you come close to selling out, reconsider. Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the chance, when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Yeah, I felt like that was really important. Um, it's funny, at the bottom of the deck, uh, spirit of the dwelling place. You know, I feel like somebody has been displaced or they've been in a space. Um, where they've been stuck and anyway let's get a final card for Aries and we have the spirit of gold <laughs> wealth status and windfall wealth status and windfall so there's some type of reversal of, of fate here you know you did get the wheel of fortune um on the bottom of the deck so you know whatever has happened whatever you've been through um just know that you know there is uh, a shift in the wind and a change in the tides and uh destiny it's is, is shifting in your favor here okay so dance there's cause for celebration right one step at a time even if it's a small win